Hello YouTube, thank you for tuning in. This is Ambi. Today we will talk about Python as usual uh, and Python how to get help. Every now and then you might be doing something and you want to do something else but you don't know how to use a tool. Uh, I will give you a tool but if you don't know how to use it, uh, what are the things that it can do then what's the use of you having that tool. The same way Python, uh, in Python you got a lot of tools, sort of packages, you want to know the documentation of it, what are the options which are there. Uh, it's not always feasible to go online and search, but there are ways where... Uh, so before you go online and search, so there are a lot of things which you can do by yourself. So first thing is start, uh, let's say command prompt if you're on Windows, then Python, okay, let me go ahead and... Uh, Increase the font for you. All right, gentlemen and ladies and everyone in between. Python. All right. Python M. Py doc. Math. Not math, it's math. So it's going to tell me what is math. This module is always available. It provides access to the mathematical functions defined by the C standard. Yes, A cos, A cos, A JSON, and all that good stuff that you want for mathematics, or if you're into mathematics, right? Personally, <laughs> I am kind of into, but I, I really used to hate maths. But after, like, you know, getting to know Python, I can do, I can make Python do all the boring stuff. You just have to worry about the logic and stuff, right? So it's just amazing. Now let's go and talk something else. Okay, uh, that is not an option. You want something more than PyDoc, whatever that I showed you, right? So you want to know everything about Python. Just say help. Help and then you type the name of the module. And it will tell you the same thing. And it is saying... It's saying everything. I mean, it's not truncating any information for you. It's showing everything. Welcome to Python 3.6 Help Utility. Uh, help on built-in module math. This module is always available. It provides access to the mathematical functions defined by the C standard. All that good stuff that you read before, right? So let's say you want to quit. And let's say you don't want to enter help itself and just want to find quick help on a module, right? That will no, nah, that is not how it works. But if you want to use it like this, then you have another option to use it like that. So first, uh, what we're gonna do here is we are going to say well, import math. Okay, then we will say help math. Right. So you see the difference here. You have to import a package if you want to check like you know uh, put that in the brackets of help and check or if you enter help then you can just search for everything whatever right it's like you know you go to the library so you can ask for whatever book that you want there. okay that is a book or if you're telling a friend to go there and uh, you know uh, get uh, something from the library so you have to tell him the book's name and give him the book's name and then he will go get it the same way so help will enter helpful take you into the world of help right oops help and then you can type whatever you want it will show and you can quit and uh, if you want to just talk about a package then you say import uh, let's say again math it's already there but still help I'm doing it again I know but I want it to be I want you to remember this but what if you want to check what's inside math oh so you have all this good stuff inside math now so then what you can do is dir okay uh, i will say math dot floor right okay so now that's what i have uh, what if i want to check the documentation on that so what i will do is help math dot floor Wow, isn't that amazing? Isn't that very nice? Now you can just browse through it, find out what it is. So if you are building a package, make sure uh, you have uh, documentation you know, for all these things. So what is the next thing that uh, uh, when you want to get help? Well, uh, obviously the next thing is search online, right? There are a lot of uh, good communities there. Uh, 
trust me if you are a python user i can assure you that you are not the first one to face whatever problem that you're facing uh, i recommend uh, browse through stack overflow or just search online and most of the times it's stack overflow which throws you some results at least for me so thank you for tuning in sharing is caring share subscribe like have a great day take care bye